Hi guys, it's Carolyn and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this dress. Now in these videos, I take you through step-by-step -step process on how to make the dress. What to do is you watch the video, if you like the dress in the video, you then go online to www.carolynbaxter.co.uk where you can then purchase your pattern pieces which will be templates on how to cut your fabric to make this dress. At the front you've got the pleat. Now with this pleat I have slip stitched the panels together just about six inches from the waist down to here. In doing that I've just brought those two folds of fabric together and stitched back and forth from one to the other by hand to sew that into place. Now I've done that all the way in this section here and that means it's pulling the fabric together so when the person walks the slit will open up. Now you're going to measure your waistband to find the centre point. Mark with a pin. Now line the centre point of the waistband up with the centre point of the skirt and pin in place. We're going to be sandwiching the skirt in between the two waistband sections, the front and back. So pin all the way along onto the front waistband section, then flip the dress round and pin the back in place, lining it up with the front waistband section. Once pinned, you're then going to sew all the way along there to secure the skirt in place. Now I've actually hand sewn through the front and the back of the waistband so that I can line it up and keep it nice and neat. Now I'm going to take the pattern piece that I've sewed up together, the two top shell one pieces, and I'm going to place that on the mannequin like so. Now on the pattern piece it will tell you what side is the outside and what side is the inside of the pattern piece. The outside tends to be the shorter side. I'm going to take the section that I sewed the two pattern pieces together and line it up in the centre of the mannequin. Now you can do this on your own body or on a friend's body to work out how to attach it together. Then I'm going to take this round the back of the mannequin like so and we're going to cross them over and take them back up. Now to secure this in place I'm going to turn it through the other side of the band, like so, and then place it over the front. And it should look like that, and that's just to make it a little bit more secure. You're then going to take the pattern piece and bring it back round, and we're going to pin it and attach it onto this band. I'm going to line it up with the center. and pin it all the way along here and up the side like so. Now as you can see I've pinned along there and I'm now going to sew along that line with the sewing machine just to secure it in place. Now it's best to follow the line you've already got from when you finish the edge so it's nice and neat. I'm going to take the centre here and line it up with the centre of the skirt and you're going to start to pin this inside both bands. So we're sandwiching this into both bands and pinning and then we're going to sew along. Now you're only going to be pinning up to about here onto the band and this section 
is going to be lifted so there's a gap here between the band and this section. Now I've sewn the front in between the two sandwich sections of the waistband. I am going to hand sew all the way along here with a needle and thread the two band pieces together. I'm going to do that by going in one side with the needle and back through the other side. And to keep it nice and neat, I'm going to try and run it along the stitching that I already have. That's why I'm doing it by hand and not on the sewing machine, so it's lined up both sides. Back of the dress, like we've done in a previous dress, the Nadia dress, we have to sew a hook and eye to close over the back. Now, I would put two of them in. I've added them in to the back of the dress to close it over. And I've also added two to the waistband as well. So I can clip that shut now. Now we're gonna do the same to the hem of this dress as what we did to the Nadia dress. Now we've got the bottom of the dress here. We're gonna have to trim a little section off. Now, if you place your dress down, you'll realize that there's quite a harsh corner here. We obviously don't want that in the gown. So I'm taking a tailor's chop and I'm going to draw around so that it's nice and curved and back into the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to start cutting that because that's going to give us a nice rounded shape rather than this square. Now we're only going to do that at one side and then we're going to take the dress off the mannequin now and do it the exact same on the other side. Now I've taken it off the mannequin, again you can see the bottom of it looks like a big square. On this side you can see where I've cut the curve. You're then going to follow the curve that you've already cut to get it symmetrical at the other side. with the hem, fold over one centimeter and then press and then fold over again and sew over and that's you finished your hem.